What's happening, Internet? Let's talk about web safety. I mean, because you use the web all the time, you're actually using it right now. I mean, can one simply walk into more... I mean, can one browse the web safely? What I'm going to be doing is showing you all the information you need to make sure you're informed so you can browse the web safely. Besides that, I mean, it's not like you installed any viruses or spyware yourself. What's... what's that? Did you... did... did you install that? So, let's talk about web safety because it can be pretty hairy out there. Now, a couple things I like to cover is browsing the web. Just some basic how-to, not really how-tos, but some basic safe web navigation. Because I'll, I'll be diving deeper into that in the following videos. But, for starters, I like to cover a few basics of navigating the internet. First off is, if it's too good to be true, it is. For instance, a couple sites where you'll find a lot of garbage, a lot of few sites you'll want to steer clear of because of all the viruses, malware, spyware, everything that you will get from these sites mainly when you have free movie websites and keygen software wares th those type of websites as well so if if you're searching for something that's just simply too good to be true like oh how about i search for free movies and then oh i'll just uh sure i'll watch a free movie online oh thor that's in the theaters well more than likely i can watch that from my home computer for free right let me click on that and now we have even down here, if I click on download or play now, this is an advertisement I'm looking at. A lot of these sites try to trick you. And besides that, I'm not even sure I'd even click on any of these links just because this link here is from Europe and it's Divix, and Divix is only a codec. So like I said, just steer clear of things that are too good to be true as far as your movies, CD keys, generators, free programs, applications. When I say free programs and applications, I mean uh, applications and programs that are normally paid but are being given away for free because you can go to the manufacturer's website and you can get those programs for a trial run a lot of times but if it's for free online more than likely it's bad news and one other thing to cover is HTTPS and encryption so if we see here at the top for our bank we can see HTTPS and the S simply means it's a secure connection and you'll find this more common now in more of the social platform because Twitter now has HTTPS and also Facebook, although you have to add those settings to your profile settings so that you use a more secure connection. One other thing here is I can click on the bar at the top and this shows me more information about the website. I'll be covering this more in one of the later lessons. So we can see that this website is secured and it's encrypted. So, so stick with me as I go deeper into covering all the topics you need to make sure you browse the web safely so that you don't get viruses and spyware again. Alright guys, and just a reminder, this video is one step in the process of elimination to finding out why your PC is running so slow. So if you just stumbled upon this video, you might want to go to step one, and that will be in the description of this video. And remember guys, you can send any of your problems to me for viruses, spyware, and PC performance that I haven't covered in this series. Just send those to requests at mahalo.com, and remember, only you can prevent spyware, viruses, and all that bad stuff on the internet.